Hey what's up guys welcome back and uh, in this video we are gonna see the new feature of uh, github that is github profile uh, you might be wondering how it is different and what is the use of it so let's open github.com first of all so i'll open my account github.com slash impawan as you can see this is the page which we see um, like you might be seeing this page only and uh, there are recent ui changes to into github and uh, it looks pretty good but as you can see on the left hand side there is a profile picture of mine and uh, with some description as well uh, but this is not sufficient most of the time and uh, what people do people generally uh, like if you are a developer most probably there are chances that you already have a github account or at least uh, I, I mean just for uh, sharing some open source stuff you are using github uh, so uh, if you have the github account then uh, I am making uh, sure that uh, you will end up with the creating this profile thing which is a new feature and uh, the the advantage is that not everyone has a separate uh, portfolio website and why to create portfolio website when uh, if, if like no one is visiting that but yes everyone is visiting your github so what if uh, there is a profile page inside github itself so that is the idea of this video and that has already been introduced by github so we'll take a look and if you are already excited then press the like button right now subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon to get future updates and now without any further ado uh, we will we'll start doing um, the implementation of the profile feature so So how you can activate the profile feature that is the first most uh, you know uh, thing which uh, someone wants to see because there is no profile as such like you, you can see there is your profile in the uh, account section but this is this is actually your profile and everything should be coming over here so um, as you can see on the top we have some uh, options like overview repositories projects packages so in the overview it starts with this uh, popular repositories section right so these are my popular repositories above that we can actually create um, our uh, portfolio so how you will do that you will click on repositories and uh, you will click on new repositories okay here you have to give the repository name now this is very important and very critical this repository name should be same to impawan like if it is my owner name let's say if your account is github.com slash abcd then uh, the repository name needs to be abcd so that's the idea so uh, as soon as i'll enter the same name you will see a secret message yes you found a secret and impawan slash impawan is a special repository that you can use to add a readme.md to your github profile make sure it's public and initialize it with a readme to get started okay so um, now in the description i can write pawan kumar portfolio and as you saw this uh, like secret kind of message this is very important that the name should be s like same otherwise it won't work uh, and the second thing is that as you can see like uh, I'm doing it like right now I haven't uh, done it in the past and uh, this is the first time I'm doing it so let's see how it goes and now you have to check here that yes initialize this repository with a readme because we don't actually have to use uh, an editor or something we can directly use github to actually uh, do this stuff so create repository and uh, it will take a while and as you can see there is hi there so hi there is what like it's it's a by default what github is giving to you now we will again again open our profile uh, on a different tab and now you can see on the top uh, like there is a popular repositories but there is hi there right over there right and this is my profile right uh, what i can do i can go to my another website which i created and that is pawan.live and i can um, i mean use this information from here and i can you know write over here so i can just click on this edit icon and uh, you can see we already have you know all these things here which can be very helpful in um, in getting started um, and how you can like enable them hype there I, i'll replace it with uh, let's say the text which i am using and i'm i'll give you another idea how to um, you know easily do these changes and now what I can do um, let's remove this uh, comment from here okay and uh, this also we can remove 
and uh, here are some details which I can use in fact I can remove this as well and uh, I am currently working on so I will uh, write here let's say frontier wallet that's what I am working on right now I am currently learning Swift let's say this is what uh, I can say Swift um, is what I am learning these days I am looking to collaborate on YouTube that looks good I am looking for help with uh, Velocity X documentation okay this looks good uh, because see you can add anything here and uh, ask me about flutter or um, any tech related stuff so this is pretty good because uh, they are already giving you you know all these uh, things uh, like uh, some pre uh, made template or something how to reach me and you can add probably links here let's say on Twitter I am like um, at the right I am the PK and we will like uh, complete it later because this click is this this thing is still not clickable and I'll tell you how to easily you know um, you can do this pronounce and you can say he slash is okay something like this this is how they write it fun fact um i do a lot of stuff this is not a fun fact fun fact what can be a fun fact for me you can write anything man like uh, i i don't have any idea what i should write but a uh, fun fact is that uh, i i spend almost 12 hours listening songs every day I mean I don't know even if this is a fun fact but yeah this is something and now uh, I can say that uh, initial readme update something like this um, and you can also add more details here uh, extended description and I can commit these changes from here itself like you don't have to uh, open a new um, kind of uh, VS code a window and uh, just uh, you know uh, pull all the code and then do the changes you can directly do it on github and now if I go back here and uh, on my profile then you can see we have this uh, this information which is looking pretty good right um, and and yes this is how you can um, add things now I'm gonna give you another way of doing this like because maybe you don't know how to work with the uh, these um, readme.md uh, files which is markdown files so you can use a website which we call stack edit and I you can install uh, stack edit you can install the PWA of it and uh, this this is how it opens and this is basically a markdown kind of um, like a uh, place where you can use this uh, like let's say I have a profile I can write something over here I can I can add links uh, into that and this can be pretty useful right so what I'll do um, here uh, I, you can see like you know, I, I leave this link like Twitter so uh, for Twitter I'll go to my account Twitter slash twitter.com slash I am the PK and this is my account so I can just copy it and uh, I can go to slack add it and I can say Twitter at the rate I am the PK now I can select this entire text and I can add a link over here and this is the link and I can just copy it so this is this is what you have to write basically so you can copy it from here or uh, maybe you can do a lot of stuff so Twitter is there I can also you add uh, YouTube um, and I can say at the rate M tech viral okay so basically I can just add this parenthesis over here and then in the brackets I can say https youtube.com slash viral and that's all you have to do and then similarly um, you can add more accounts over here but that's pretty like um, that's, that's, that's the stuff I wanted to do actually and I can just paste them here Oh, that's that looks ugly but that is fine I mean 
you can just uh, move it to what did I change okay there is one brace missing okay this looks good um, I, I, I just don't want oh yeah there is preview changes so you can uh, see if you will preview it how it will look like that's looking fine I mean that's that's not a problem at all I would like to add a comma here so that it makes more sense to me yeah this is looking pretty good and uh, in fact you can add one more thing which I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna give you an idea so this is pretty much uh, like there are so many things which you can do you can like add a quote something like that maybe you can make things bold italic you know headings and all so a lot of stuff which you can do I would like to like to just to make this video short I would like to uh, tell you one more thing and then we can go so in the sticky notes I have uh, this uh, particular um, URL which you can use as well with your github username so this will give me a photo which I can directly use so stats though so this is basically stats it give me all the stats like um, you know what is the rating uh, how many total stars I have total commits and all this information so you can directly use it so I'll just copy it and I can um, after this these particular things I can just paste it here and then you can go to preview and uh, oh my god so yeah you have to add it as an image so how to do that basically uh, you can see here that uh, we should have an option to add an image I'm wondering where it is um, that should be pretty straightforward isn't it okay that's uh, okay there is like just an image tag which we can use but I'm just finding if if I'm I'm lazy so I don't want to do that but yes let's let's try this uh, this way um, let's go to edit file and uh, let's copy this again and we can just say image source and in the source we can add it okay and then it should work like like this and self let's see if that works yes so you can see we have this uh, Pavan Kumar and all these details um, I would like to change the color of it a little bit um, maybe that's so you can just see like I, I'll add this uh, this thing into my description of this video and uh, you can see like there are multiple options like title color what you want the title icon color text color and uh, background color so you can choose any color whatever you want um, I would probably try to change it let's say FF B A 2 C something like this let's see if that changes the color and yes you can see the color is changed but this is not looking great so I'll go back and I'll add uh, the maybe I'll, I'll go with the uh, one one nine one nine one nine and let's see how it looks yes this is still better and uh, not looking so bad and the uh, title color is fine icon is true icon color maybe if you want you can change it so yeah it's totally up to your choice what you want to change and now um, added stats so yeah now I'll do the changes and this looks pretty pretty well uh, let's refresh this and you can see this this looks pretty good you have these many stars total commits total PRs total issues contributed to this I don't know what is the meaning of as here what like uh, earlier it used to show a plus something like that <laughs> but now it is showing um, s s means let's say good um, I'm just I'm just trying to say that okay my profile is good okay yeah that's it guys so uh, I hope that uh, this can help uh, this can be a really good help to introduce yourself to the people who are visiting your github profile and I hope that you enjoyed this video you learned something from it so thanks for watching and I'll see in the next video bye bye take care and please make sure you subscribe to this channel for such amazing videos and uh, for more such stuff also let me know in the comments if you have something to add over here so that I can create another video and I can uh, tell people what extra or what amazing or what kind of you know unique thing which you can add here and i'll also add few more things uh, into this profile so keep checking keep star my repositories and uh, yeah keep loving so i'll see in the next video press the bell icon right now to get future updates as well and uh, yeah subscribe bye bye take care and
keep learning keep coding keep githubbing